Hi dear students you are welcome this is previous year question paper November 2017 and paper number 3 in this video we are going to cover multiple choice questions from 51 to 75 means there are 25 questions and this is the very important series for set or net uh, students who are preparing the examinations now let's start uh, before that let me clear one thing please take a pen and paper and uh, write down question number 1 and before that question number 1 you are option what you think is the correct option of the question and at the end of the video you can calculate your score if you uh, answer the question correctly please uh, write tick mark on that your uh, answer and uh, move to the next question so let's start with the very first question we have question number 51 from which source did swift get the idea of writing verses on the death of dr swift and options are number 1 in a conversation with john gay number 2 after a reading of a maxim by la roche foucault number 3 while taking a walk near dublin's st james graveyard number 4 after reading richard burton's anatomy of melancholy please write down your answer which you consider is the correct and the correct option is here number 2 after a reading of a maxim by la roche foucault 52 two of the following words were borrowed from french after the norman conquest which are those words a mutton b pork c sheep and d swine and the combination is number 1 a and b number 2 a and c number 3 b and d and number 4 c and d and the correct option here is number 1 a and b means mutton and pork 53 which of the following is not true regarding the orestia trilogy by aeschylus number 1 cassandra cursed by apollo predicts the death of agamemnon though her prophecy is ignored number 2 aegisthus's vengeful feelings for agamemnon results from their rivalry for the hand of clytemnestra number 3 orestes who has come back with the intention of murdering clytemnestra unexpectedly meets her and pretending to be a stranger tells her that orestes is dead number 4 orestes pursued by the furies flees from them when they fall asleep then clytemnestra's ghost appears to wake them up and the correct option is number 2 Aegisthus's vengeful feelings for Agamemnon results from their rivalry for the hand of Clytemnestra. 54. The first instance of female cross-dressing with the disconcerting nuances of a boy actor dressing as a boy while playing the role of a woman in the dramatic world of Shakespeare occurs in number one, the two gentlemen of Verona; number two, as you like it; number three, Twelfth Night; and number four. a midsummer night stream and the correct option is number 1 the two gentlemen of verona 55 for coleridge our power to perceive symbols gleaned from the world about us is related to the category of number 1 primary imagination number 2 secondary imagination number 3 fancy and number 4 intuition and the correct option is number 1 primary imagination 56 after independence although english was not an indian language it was accorded the status of an number 1 additional language number 2 ancillary language number 3 associate language and number 4 administrative language it's a very simple question and the answer is number 3 associate language 57 which english journal announced that it was principally intended for the use of politic persons who are so public spirited as to neglect their own affairs to look into transactions of state but failed to live up to this and amused readers with accounts of gallantry pleasure and entertainment uh, we have four options number 1 the spectator number 2 the tatler number 3 the daily current and number 4 the review and the correct option is number 2 the tatler 58 the grammar translation method of language teaching does not include number 1 focus on grammar rules number 2 vocabulary memorization number 3 inductive teaching and number 4 focus on written language and the correct option is number 3 inductive teaching all the remaining three are there in the grammar translation method 59 
हु इज द नरेटर इन कमला मार्कंडेज नेक्टर इन ए सीव वन प्रेमला नंबर टू सरोजा नंबर थ्री रुक्मिनी एंड नंबर फोर मीरा एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज नंबर थ्री रुक्मणी सिक्सटी हाउ वुड ए न्यू हिस्टोरिसिस्ट क्रिटिक इंटरप्रिट डेरी डाज स्टेटमेंट देर इज नथिंग आउटसाइड द टेक्स्ट नंबर वन हिस्टोरिसिस्ट क्रिटिक शुड रेस्ट्रिक्ट देयर अटेंशन टू ए कल्चर लिटररी प्रोडक्शन ऑल अदर डेटा इज इ रिलेवन टू द क्रिटिक्स टास्क नंबर टू लैंग्वेज कंडीशन द वे वी सी द वर्ल्ड एंड देर इज नो रियालिटी बियॉन्ड द प्रिजन हाउस ऑफ लैंग्वेज नंबर थ्री देर इज नो मीनिंग आउटसाइड ऑफ टेक्स्चुअल मीनिंग कॉन्ट्ररी टू द माइमेटिसिस्ट पोजिशन नंबर फोर लिटरेचर एनकम्पासेस ऑल कल्चरल आर्टिफैक्ट्स एंड ऑल द वैल्यूज पावर रिलेशन एंड वेज ऑफ सींग रिफ्लेक्टेड In those artifacts, there is nothing outside of the text broadly conceived. And the correct option is number four. Literature encompasses all cultural artifacts and all the values, power relations, and ways of seeing reflected in those artifacts. There is nothing outside of the text broadly conceived. Sixty-one. Pick out two Austen heroines from the following list who are right-minded but neglected in the beginning. but gradually are acknowledged to be correct by characters who have previously looked down on them a elizabeth bennet b fanny price c emma woodhouse and d ann eliot and the correct combination number 1 a and c number 2 b and d number 3 c and d and number 4 a and d and the correct option is number 2 b and d means fanny price and ann eliot 62 the variety of english used between non native speakers who do not share a first language is called one english for specific purposes number 2 english for basic purposes number 3 english as a lingua franca and number 4 english as a language tool and the correct option is number 3 english as a lingua franca 63 identify the story for which em foster wrote the libretto for its opera version number 1 heart of darkness number 2 the man who would be the king number 3 billy bird and number 4 death in venice and the correct option is number 3 billy bird 64 who among the following premchand translators has not translated godan number 1 jairatan number 2 pilal number 3 gordon c rodarmal and number 4 christopher r king and the correct option is Number four, Christopher R. King. Sixty-five. When Fred got into debt, it always seemed to him highly probable that something or other he did not necessarily conceive what would come to pass, enabling him to pay in due time. Why is Fred Vincey in debt in Middle March? Number one, he takes out a large loan to enable him to woo Mary Garth. Number two, he is an inveterate gambler. Number three, he is paying off. blackmailer number 4 he runs a charity that has got into trouble and the correct option is he is an inveterate gambler 66 william blake has a rare elan to provide telling images in arresting phrases match the phrases with the poems they belong to mind forged miracles number 1 the tiger b eternal winter here number 2 the sick rose c fearful cemetery number 3 london and d crimson joy holy thursday now here this question is very uh, simple if you look at now you have fearful cemetery you all might be familiar with this phrase fearful cemetery and uh, which occurs in the tiger now you have pair c is to 1 just look at where c is to 1 and uh, we are in the options we have two options c is to 1 very first and c is to 1 number 3 now the second thing you have to uh just recognize the second phrase eternal winter or uh, crimson joy or mind forged miracles and you have all the options and the correct option here the code is number 3 a is to 3 means mind forged miracles is to london then you have eternal winter for holy thursday fearful cemetery for number 1 the tiger and crimson joy for the sick rose question number 67 in the debate between the two birds in the middle english poem the owl and the nightingale who acts as the arbiter options are number 1 master henry of shrewsbury number 2 master william of hereford number 3 master freeman of 
Stamford and number 4 Master Nicholas of Guildford and the correct option is number 4 Master Nicholas of Guildford. 68 in the first scene in which Goethe first appears he is dejected by the study of philosophy, law, medicine and theology, turns to magic art to acquire infinite knowledge but he fails and in desperation attempts to commit suicide but refrains at the final moment what prevents Faust from committing suicide? Number one, the intervention of Archangel Gabriel. Number two, his attendant Wagner persuades him to revoke the decision. Number three, the chiming of the bells announcing Easter festivities. And number four, Mephistopheles appears and offers to initiate him into magic art. And the correct option is number 3, the chiming of the bells announcing Easter festivities. 69, which novel by Joseph Conrad presents a young captain who like Coleridge's ancient mariner is haunted by the vision of a ship drifting in calm and swinging in light years with all the crew dying slowly about her decks and who feels the sickness of my soul, weight of my sins my sense of unworthiness options are number one under western eyes number two the shadow line number three victory number four the rescue and the correct option is number two the shadow line 70 our almost instinct almost true what will survive of us is love identify the poem by philip larkin that ends with the above lines number one this be the verse number two and Arundel Tom, number 3, High Windows, number 4, Next Please. And the correct option is number 2 and Arundel Tom. 71. Which of the following is an elegy on John Dunn's wife who died in 1617? Number 1. Death be not proud. Number 2. Thou hast made me. Number 3. Holy Sonnet 17. Number 4. At the round earth's imagined corners. And the correct option is... Number 3, Holy Sonnet 17. 72. In the epilogue to Congreve's Way of the World, there is a warning. Others there are whose malice we would prevent, such who watch plays with scurrilous intent to mark out who by characters are meant. These with false glosses feed their own ill nature and turn to libel. What was meant a satire? What does this mean? warning mean number one critics should not be ill-natured and malicious number two critics should not look for portrait of real people in the play's characters and remember that the play is a social satire number three critics should avoid writing malicious reviews lest they be charged with libel number four critics should try to identify the real life equivalent for each character and the correct option is number two Critics should not look for portrait of real life people in plays characters and remember that the play is a social satire. Now here we have questions from 73 to 75 based on Margaret Atwood's poem called Board. First I will read the poem and then we will go through the questions. All those times I was bored out of my mind holding the log while he sawed it, holding the string while he measured boards distances between things or pounded sticks into the ground for rows and rows of lettuces and beets which i then bored weeded or sat in the back of the car or sat still in the boats sat sat while at the pro stern wheel he drove steered paddled it wasn't even boredom it was looking looking hard and up close at the small details myopia the worn gunwales the intricate twill of the seat cover the acid crumbs of loam the granular pink rock its in igneous veins the sea fans of dry moss the blackish and then the graying bristles on the back of his neck sometimes he would whistle sometimes i would the boring rhythm of doing things over and over, carrying the wood, drying the dishes, such minute, it's what the animals spend most of their time at, ferrying the sand, grain by grain, from their tunnels, 
shuffling the leaves in their burrows. He pointed such things out, and I would look at the world texture of his square finger, earth under the nail. Who do I remember it as sunnier? All the time then, although it more often rained and more bird song, I could hardly wait to get the hill out of there too, anywhere else, perhaps though boredom is happier. It is for dogs or groundhogs. Now I wouldn't be bored. Now I would know too much. Now I would know. And here we have question number 73. All those times the opening words of the poem locate the speaker in number one, a city suburb, number two, a mountain resort, number three, a natural environment, and number four, a highway motel. And the correct option is it's very simple question. At the very uh, initial, we have uh, this place and uh, it locates in a natural environment. Everything she is talking is the natural environment. Question number 74, which pair of words best describe the repetitive tenor of the speaker's unpretentious yet oppressive life? A. Details, B. The car, C. The wood and D. The minute. And the correct combination here we have number 1, uh, A and B, number 2, A and D, number 3, B and C and number 4, C and D. And the correct option is number 2, A and D. A means details and D the minute. So she describes the details of everything of the mundane life and D it details uh, the minute things. And here we have the last question of this series 75 which of the following approximates closely a thematic statement of the poem. So which is the thematic statement number one dogs or ground hogs lead a better life than men or women. Number two, irrespective of the place, the boring rhythm of doing things over and over in human life cannot be escaped. Number three, myopia is the result of you live life in the lap of nature. And number four, knowledge cures existential boredom. And the correct option is number two, irrespective of the place, the boring rhythm of doing things over and over in human life cannot be escaped. So, dear friends, I hope you solved all the questions and now you can calculate your score and comment your score in the comment section below. Or if you have any problem or any query, you can also comment in the comment section. So, I will try to answer your query. So, this is uh, these 25 questions we have reviewed. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you very much.